Hello everyone. Welcome to Mayur Programming Club. Today we will be solving another daily lead code problem. And the problem's name is different ways to add parentheses. Okay. So you will be given an expression of numbers and operators and you have to return all the possible results that you can have from computing all the possible different ways to group the numbers and the operators okay so depending upon how you group the numbers and the operators you will be having different uh, results of the expression okay so you may return uh, uh, the answer in any order those different uh, results of the expression that can be uh, there okay and the test cases are generated such that the output value fits in a 32 bit integer and the number of the different uh, results does not exist 10 raised to power 4 okay so before thinking of an approach let's have a quick look at the constraints so according to the constraints the entry number of entries or the number of characters you can say or the expression length will be of order 20 okay and the expression will uh, consist of digits and the operators which will be three kind of operators plus minus and multiply okay and all the values in the input expression will be of range uh, 0 to 99 okay and the integer values in the input expression do not have a leading negative or positive sign okay so these are the constraints so let's try to think of an approach to solve this particular one so let's say uh, this is our expression okay so there can be different ways of uh, grouping this particular expression okay depending upon that you will be evaluating the expression values okay this is one way another way could have been like grouping like this okay so there can be multiple ways and they will be uh, you know giving out different uh, results of the same expressions and you have to return those results so whenever you are seeing an operator okay while traversing the expression from left to right direction if you are seeing an operator that essentially uh, what it does is uh, it basically divides the expression into two halves okay so one one half is this let's change the color here okay and another half can be this okay so you can call this left half and you can call this right half okay and they uh, these are expressions in themselves okay again uh, you will this left half can be evaluated similar to what we were doing here by uh, traversing left half from left to right direction and then after seeing any operator you again divide it into halves so see each operator is uh, you know introducing a factor of in the computations so overall the number of computations are growing exponentially because of because each operator is introducing uh, basically two halves okay so if there are let's say n operators okay or the expression is of size uh, let's say n okay the whole size of the expression is n and let's say there are m operators okay so these uh, m operators will be less than or equal to the expression length uh, less than obviously less than the expression length okay so a loose upper bound can be of the number of operators n okay so therefore uh, you can say that these operators are introducing an exponential factor of 2 raised to power n okay and for each of the sub expressions these were two sub 
expressions that uh, this particular uh, operator was representing so in order to process these uh, you will all again be requiring uh, some linear traversal so 2 into n so 2 raised to power n into n number of operations will be needed if you are trying to generate different parts of the whole expression okay uh, results of the whole thing okay so and this comes down to 20 into 2 raised to power 20 okay and this whole number lies somewhere between somewhere in the neighborhood of you can say 10 raised to power 7 operations okay and there is an operation limit that uh, if the number of operations required by your program is uh, less than 10 raised to power 8 operations limit okay so this is our ops limit then your solution will be accepted and you will be uh, not having any kind of time limit exceeded error okay so this was a quick uh, way of thinking how we can approach this particular problem basically we uh, as you can see that we are using some kind of recursion okay at each uh, operator that we are encountering we are uh, trying to divide our expression into our uh, two halves uh, left half and right half and these left half and right half are in uh, sub expressions in themselves okay and they will uh, result into different uh, answers okay depending upon how we group them okay so a b c let's say uh, it resulted into okay and this particular right half resulted into uh, d e f okay so you see you can do a cross product cross of uh, both of these left and right halves and apply the operator okay so in order the number of operations that will be required in the cross will be exponential because the number of results are growing exponentially because of these operators okay so that's why this factor comes in and uh, this n factor is just for the sake of that you will be anyways traversing each of these halves okay in a linear way so that comes uh, that results into uh, order of n time complexity okay so let's see the implementation more things will be clear to you while we will be discussing the implementation so this is the implementation so what we will be doing here is as we discussed we will be evaluating our expression uh, while we are traversing it from left to right direction character by character okay so and then we will be having one uh, result list which will obviously be the number of dif uh, having the different values to which our expressions can be evaluated to okay so then if the current character is an op operator plus minus or multiply if uh, the current character is either of these any any of these so in that case you will divide your expression into two halves okay so the half having everything before the operator just like we did here okay and the half having everything after the operator okay so left and right half okay then once you are having that you will you know uh, call the same function recursively on both of these halves okay so what will these uh, functions return these will functions will return the number of different values to which these two sub expressions can be evaluated to okay so once you are having them 
so you will do a cross of these two different uh, you know values okay and apply the current operator okay so we are doing a, a cross product kind of thing and uh, this whole thing uh, uh, will you know the number of since the number of uh, results were growing exponentially for the expressions so this thing will be exponential 2 raised to power n order of 2 raised to power n you can say and for each of these sub expressions we were doing a linear traversal so again a factor of n comes in okay so the overall time complexity becomes this and then then there is uh, this is just a recursive function and the base case will be uh, when you are not having any operator with you okay uh, in that particular case you will be only having an integer value so in that case your results size will be zero uh, so in that case you will just uh, you know give the value of whatever uh, the number is there okay for example if the expression is only one two and three there is no operator here so in that case the result will only be one two three okay so this is for that particular base case and then you will just simply return your result or the array list or the list representing the number of different uh, the values to which your current ex sub expression or expression can be evaluated to okay so this was the whole logic and uh, since and there will be some optimizations that can be possible here uh, but since uh, our solution is very well within the bounds of this operations limit so if you want you can do the optimizations that will again require some technique like dynamic programming but for uh, the constraints given in the particular problem this much is sufficient and if you are still having any kind of doubts or any queries in general then you can ask them in the comment section and i really hope this solution walkthrough added some value to your journey of honing your dss skills and keep solving more and more problems i will be seeing you in the next video thank you for watching